All right, what's good, guys? Kirk and Mark here, back with another episode of Motor Gear TV. Thank you guys for tuning in as usual. And today, we're going to step right back into the M2 content. We're going to be doing another cool modification to the car. This one is something I actually wanted to do for quite some time now, and I'm happy that I'm finally able to get it done today. All right, so honestly, for the purposes of this build, I kind of want to show you guys a mix of different things. Some things I will enhance the overall look, some things I will enhance the overall functionality. I think this one is going to be a little bit of both, and this one actually has to do with the overall stance of the car. Now, today, I'm actually going to be doing a wheel stud conversion as well as adding spacers to the car. I think this is something that's going to improve not only the overall look but also the overall functionality as far as being able to having an ease of taking the wheels on and off. Now there have been a lot of misconceptions about using spacers or not. For me, I've been using them for a couple of years now and I haven't had any issues with them. While the stock wheels do have some nice fitment to it, I think it could be adjusted just a little bit more. So that's why I wanted to put a spacer on it so the wheels can be flush with the fender wall. I'll show you guys in a second everything that we have. Now with that being said, I did want to go with a pretty reputable brand. So that's why I came across Motorsport Hardware. Now they have a variety of wheel stud, wheel spacer and wheel bolt applications for various cars, mainly German vehicles mercedes bmw porsche i was able to go onto their website and make an order i picked up a set of wheel studs from them wheel spacers for all four wheels and also their their racing nut set and also their racing wheel lock set because i'm going to be running this setup i wanted to make sure that, that the hardware being used is very sturdy and keeps my wheels protected at all costs I know that there's some horror stories of people getting, getting their wheels stolen, so I wanted to make sure that I have the extra layer of security. Now, I wanna go ahead and show you guys what I picked up. All right, so these are the pieces I picked up. Everything's kind of laid out here so you guys can see. Um, first off is the wheel studs. Um, these are the 82 millimeter studs, recommended fitment for the spacers I'm going to be running. This right here is our wheel lock nut set. Comes in a set of five. I'm assuming the fifth one is an extra piece just in case. These are their Titan race nuts. I got them in black. I think this will look very nice to complement the car. And then over here, we have our wheel spacers. Now these are their track light spacers. So they designed them for overall functionality and also increase weight saving it's pretty light looks nice i do believe the only finish that it comes in is silver as you guys can see it does come with the motorsport hardware logo pretty nice really nice finish on the side as well but yeah this is pretty much the setup we're going to go with today i think we're going to get things started jack the car up take the wheels off and show you how to get everything put in all right now before we start just wanted to show you guys how the initial fitment looks right now this is on the back can you catch it from the top now the wheels aren't fully flush with it catch it from the side as well i do believe that when we put them on it's going to stick out just so ever slightly i have seen other m2 owners run the 10 mil spacer in the back and the 12 mil in the front from what i've seen some people aren't fully satisfied i do believe that the extra two millimeters is just going to give me that extra fitment i was looking for giving it a very nice chunky flush setup you're really looking forward to how it's going to turn out now i do want to address some of the brake dust that's been built up on the wheel hub right here i'm going to take you guys through the step-by-step -step process of how to remove that i actually did do a video on this previously on my 335 but for the sake of this video i'll show you guys as well yo i won't lie um one of the disadvantages of working on your car in the summertime it is hot and especially being in florida it's super humid as well might get a little fan set up out here but just have to roll with the punches for right now i think we're going to start off with the rear of the car just in case we aren't able to finish today and that's i don't see why we shouldn't be able to you know but just as a precautionary step i want to at least get the back done and then we can move to the front
Alright, so we just got the car jacked up. We're actually going to be tackling both sides at a time. Starting off with the rear, we're going to take the wheel off. One of the good benefits of doing the wheel stud conversion is the ability to take off your wheels much easier. Now, normally, if you didn't have wheel studs, you'd have to take off the bolts and then use either a freehand method what mark is doing right now or use a wheel pin that you can insert right here because i do plan to take the wheels off quite frequently in the future the wheel stud conversion does help to kind of speed up that process there is a lot of brake dust especially around the hub right now i think we want to go ahead and you know get, get this cleaned up and make it look you know nice and shiny and then we can go ahead and put in the studs all right so let's just get started by showing you the tools we're going to be using first of all to address cleaning up the hub normally you'd want to use a wire brush but today we're going to try to move a little bit quicker so so I have my power drill right here and also a wire brush cup set. These come in very handy. I actually picked these up from Harbor Freight. We're going to be using two different styles, the small one right here and also this big forward facing one as well. Just going to take your time. You don't want to be too abrasive on the hub. Uh, we're just trying to take off the outer layer brake dust. So initially, we're just going to go ahead and get started with a simple wire brush just to get off some of the, the exterior rust that we can kind of see. Afterwards, we're going to use the brush cup tool um, to get off most of it. Just basically starting from one side and just going all around. To make sure that you guys don't scratch up your brake caliper, you do want to try and rotate the rotor every so often to make sure that you're just tackling one space at a time. and there you guys have it did a pretty good job actually very surprised for right now as far as doing the application it's pretty good i am going to be changing out the rotors eventually because i noticed that it has a slight lip so we're going to be getting that swapped out hopefully within the next month or so this is pretty much how i'm going to be cleaning the rest of the hubs i'm just going to wipe it down and then we're going to get the studs put in now guys one thing i will say about motorsport hardware they kind of make everything very user friendly with how everything is laid out their wheel studs do come with some instructions on how to get them installed it's pretty straightforward so these are their black race studs they do have a silver version but these are more for race applications for us i kind of chose it because of the color and because we are going to be taking our wheels off very frequently this is very helpful for those of you who will go to the track or who do have multiple sets of wheels makes it much easier and much safer to have the wheels mounted on the car now we just got the hub cleaned out we actually sprayed some brake cleaner inside the grooves the next step is for us to insert the studs now to do so we're going to have to put some medium to blue thread lock on the, the end of the stud we're going to hand tighten all of them in we're going to torque these specifically down to 25 foot pounds pretty easy application you don't want to put too much on it very simple Alright, so we'll have the studs installed. We're gonna now go ahead and proceed to torque them down. You're gonna wanna make sure that you guys put a little bit of anti-seize, especially on the edge of the hub lip. You wanna make sure to do so, so when you put the spacer on, it doesn't seize up on the hub. Alright, so like how we have the studs put in, next step is to put on the spacer. Now, I will go and say that I'm very impressed with the overall design 
of the space site itself. Something I kind of wanted to point out that not many people may consider or not is the design of it, especially from the back. Now it does have these little notches in it. For those of you who don't know, this allows you to basically have an easier way to remove it by just using a flathead, pry into it to take the spacer off just in case it gets seized onto the hub. Now some spacers that I've seen on the market don't have this, so I do think that this is a pretty cool design to have on it. Just something for you guys to take note of um, when you're deciding on which spacer to go with. Alright, so the hardest part of the setup is finally done. Got the studs and the spacers installed. Uh, next step is just to basically mount the wheel back on. Also install our racing nuts with a lock set. Pretty sure it's gonna look super nice, especially on the back. I'm hoping that we don't have any fitment issues. So fingers crossed, let's get it put on. Alright, so as we're installing the nuts right now, I do want to let you guys know that the torque spec on these is 105 pound feet. So you guys are aware. As I mentioned, uh, as I mentioned to you guys, the design on this is pretty nice. It has logo branding on it as well. And we also have the lock nut right here. I'm gonna be installing one on each side. All right, now here it is installed for you guys. Ooh, just wanted to show you fitment profile. As you guys can see, the tire is pretty much spot on flush with the quarter panel. Do love how it sticks out just a little bit, but I know that when we put it on the ground, it's gonna camber in just nice. I'm gonna show you guys the other side just to have a quick comparison. And as you guys can see on the stock side, it does sit in way more. I do think that the spacer gives it a nice flush fitment. I'm very curious to seeing how it's gonna look. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the other side. It is getting pretty dark right now. I'm gonna see how much we can complete tonight and then hopefully give you guys a big reveal once we're done. And there you guys have it the stud conversion kit and the wheel spacers are on the car it looks amazing super happy with how it came out big shout out to motorsport hardware for supplying us with everything that we needed you guys make some really fantastic products and i definitely give it a thumbs up if you guys are interested in getting some of their products i will leave a link in the description for everything please go and give them a shout out on instagram as well tell them that motor gear sent you overall loving how the car looks right now it has definitely a more aggressive stance to it now the 12 millimeter spacer on the back is pretty aggressive when we do go ahead and lower the car i'm not sure if it's going to rub but i guess we're going to have to find out worst case scenario we'll probably go down to a 10 millimeter spacer but other than that i think it looks fantastic now if you guys did enjoy this install as usual please make sure that you give us a like share the video and if you definitely want to see some more content make sure you guys are subscribed and tune in for the next video until then guys it's been great see you on the next video we out